It's Winter Summit time where Jagex is going to announce all the exciting new updates coming to OSRS. I bet they'll even announce the new league. Oh. That's, um... Well, I don't want to wait another six months for a league. I want to play one now. I bet I could make my own league with a Runelight plugin. So I got to work making a plugin that would take inspiration from the last two leagues to try and create something truly amazing and... Well, to be honest, it's kind of hard when I can't increase XP rates and give myself infinite run, but here it is. Relicscape. I literally couldn't think of a better name, leave me alone. In Relicscape, you have to unlock not just regions, but skills as well using points. You get these points by finding relics across Gilnorn. You can get them by completing tasks, chopping trees, killing monsters, doing just about anything will give you a relic. You can unlock a maximum of three regions and 13 skills at one time, but you can relock them to free up a slot. But no refunds. No refund! Anyway, I'm still developing the plugin, so a lot of this is probably gonna change, but let's just play, okay? Starting right... Now! This is Rel... Ick. <laughs> All right, when considering where to start, there is a very important thing to think about. I could basically only unlock one region here because 750 for Mistelin or 1250 for Asgarnia, it leaves me only a little bit to get skills. The only way for me to get more points to unlock more places is with skills, pretty much, with some rare exceptions. So I think I want to unlock Mistlin, a very normal start. I know it's a little bit boring, and we're going to do a few things. We're going to get one combat skill and hit points, and then unlock a few skills. And I'm going to use clues and RNG <laughs> to unlock the next region, which is probably going to be Kandarin or Asgarnia. I'm not sure, but let's start off with unlocking Mistlin. Nice. I don't think I'm going to need prayer anytime soon. I'm not gonna do anything too dangerous. I need at least two combat skills. One of them is gonna be hit points for sure. I'm just gonna unlock hit points right now because it's cheap too. And then it's either gonna be strength or attack. And I think attack's gonna make more sense. And then I think thieving. And then it's gonna be probably fishing. Maybe I'll hold on to the 300 extra points I have, and uh, we'll just we'll just deal with that. But let's go. Uh, <laughs> let's go kill some goblins. Uh, with this gear, only gaining attack and hit points levels. Also, you'll notice, the astute among you, that I am a hardcore. And that is basically symbolic because dying once is as costly as dying any other time. I lose half of my total points if I die, which I'll be much more upset about. <laughs> Maybe cooking is going to be important because I just realized, how am I going to get food without cooking? I think cooking might be a necessity. Here's a fantastic idea. We're going to unlock cooking and then there's a task. In the Mistelin region, there is a task to bake some bread on the Lumbridge uh, Castle range and I need Cook's assistant to do that, which is totally fine. That's that's going to that's going to do us real nice. It's going to it's going to feel real good. So there's a few ways for me to get relics. Uh one is from monster drops which are based on the combat level of the monster. So goblins are not very likely. And the other way is by training skills. And that's why I picked skills that aren't really good for getting a lot of XP quickly. Actually, you know what? Thieving could be good. So uh, I, I think there's also a plan here of just camping men and just touching them nonstop until they give me the relics that I want. And there we go for like the millionth time in old school RuneScape. For me alone, I have completed Cook's Assistant, which is pretty nice. We've almost finished our first task, by the way, reaching uh, level five in a skill. There you go. And with this, we will have our first task. I really just did not consider uh, the possibility. All right. And now I don't have water <laughs> for real this time. The first task has been completed, and the second task has been completed, as we've reached a level 5 skill that it didn't it give me credit for. It's fine. We don't have to worry about that right now. We'll talk about that later. Hey, look, I completed a task. Reached level 5 and a skill. Nice. So thieving was definitely the right move. I just shot up to level 6 thieving. I hardly took any damage. Uh, so I'm going to go steal from the T-Stall in Vera, because A, that's a task, and B, I can really quickly get to level 10 
Uh, I don't know why I want to complete these tasks right now. I just know that I'm going to need points later. So uh, we're just going to we're just going to get points now. I think this is the way to do it. I think this is the correct way to uh, to live our lives. There we go. Another task completed up to 80 points. And there we have our first level 10. Beautiful. Uh, I think I'm going to move on to the goblins now and we're just gonna kill those for a while and see what happens so while i'm minusly killing goblins i just had an idea vampire slayer i'm pretty sure i can complete entirely inside of mistlin and that gives you like four thousand attack experience so my new goal is to train up to kill the vampire from vampire slayer by the way we are looking very good if i do say so myself uh one easy task i can get done is to enter the cooking guild which is like 32 cooking so maybe not that easy it's a tier two task to enter the cooking guild which is 25 points so that's not bad at all that's actually really really nice and i already have one of the skills i need for it so this seems like a great- my mouse is dead. I'm not even joking, my mouse is dead. My mouse literally just died. Oh, and I just got a beginner clue! I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go replace the battery. Hold on, give me a second. This is one of the big reasons I wanted to kill goblins, though, was the beginner clues. And I already have a chef's hat, I just need to go get a red cape, which I can buy in Varrock. This is great. There's a really good chance, I'm pretty sure, that I can complete beginner clues inside of Mistlin only. So let's go give it a shot. All right, there we go. Red cape. Let's do the cheer emote. And a one stepper would be just fine. Nope. All right. At least. Oh, okay. This 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 might be a little tough. I can think of a few steps that are in Asgarnia and a few steps that are in the desert, which I obviously don't have. So hopefully we get lucky. And it's Ice Mountain. No, that's devastating. I was gonna say it's so close, but it really isn't. That's that's pretty, that's pretty firmly as Garnia, if I do say so myself. There's another beginner clue. Yes. All right. I I don't know if I'm in my clue juggling era or not. So uh, if we can do this, I might just see if I can snag another beginner clue. But juggling just seems so annoying to me, man. I don't know. Let's see. We can do this. Step one completed. Do we get lucky? We don't right away, but... Oh, no, not Charlie the Tramp. That's terrible. As it turns out, I can't actually even do Charlie the Tramp steps with the current skills I have, so I think it's time to come up with a plan. At this point, I knew it was time for an upgrade. I couldn't keep killing goblins with a bronze sword. Unfortunately, to get a better weapon, I needed money, but luckily, I still hadn't gone to the Stronghold of Security. And even better, entering the fourth level of the Stronghold of Security is a tier one task. So I'll get 10 points plus 10K. I can use some of this money to buy a Mithril Sword, which would be a huge upgrade over the Bronze Sword. Then I can use the Mithril Sword to complete my first two quest tasks, Vampire Slayer and Demon Slayer. These will get me much closer to unlocking strength and making completing a beginner clue much more of a possibility. Chest number one, baby. Ooh, 2K. Uh, an additional 3K never hurt anyone. And there we go. The full 10K acquired. And if I hop right down here, we should be getting an additional 10 points. Boom, 100 points, which means in theory, I could unlock a skill. What I need to know now is, am I gonna go for the boots? And I think the answer is yes. And here we go. We get to pick the boots and you all know there's a right answer, there's a wrong answer. If you go for the fighting boots, you're a freaking nerd. I mean, just look at this guy. He's a freaking beauty, man. Oh my God, I love him so much. The first beginner clue of the path to 20 attack First of many, I'm hoping. All right, what's the second step? It is South of the Cook's Guild. Yes, it's Gertrude. I can actually do this. There's actually a pretty good chance of a casket. Can we please get a casket? Don't make it a three-stepper. This is the first two steps I've been able to do. <sighs> Something easy, please. Like, talk, talk to hands. I'll do it. No! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'll just, if it's an easy step, like something super easy, then maybe I can hold on to this. I'm just coping at this point. A raw herring. Okay, now that's interesting. A raw herring is 10 fishing. And I was heavily considering 
my next unlock being fishing anyway. But I would need to get a fishing rod. Do I even have access to a fishing store? I mean, someone tell me if I'm being an idiot. But I looked it up on the wiki, and I don't think there is anywhere in my unlocked regions where I can get a fishing rod. That actually changes things on if I want fishing next or not, I feel like. Or maybe it doesn't. What do I know? And with one more hit, we will be 20 attack, which will also be a juicy boost in points. So, of course, I can't hit. Just give me one second. Any minute now. Here we go. There we go. Reach level 20 in a skill. Gives us 25 beautiful points. And we can use the mithril sword. No, no way. The first relic drop of the account. And it comes when I'm just killing a random mugger. Well, that's 10 free points. No, that's probably so rare. That's only combat level six too. Quick break to train thieving because I remember there's a task to enter the ham hideout. So 15 thieving, let's go do it. 10 points, don't mind if I do. And while we're at it, I might as well go do some other pretty easy tasks. I also forgot that Ernest the Chicken is a tier one task and I don't wanna hear it. How do I not know what the tasks are? I made them all, but I made like hundreds of tasks. So give me a break, okay? 10 more points, 10 more points, 10 more points. It's time to start Demon Slayer and Vampire Slayer. I feel pretty good about Demon Slayer as long as I get like wines for good food. I think I should be able to handle this quest. Vampire Slayer worries me a little bit more. All right, that is all the keys. Now we can go get some wines and give this demon a try. And over the course of this quest, I have gotten less confidence in my ability to successfully do this. I'm going to be getting attacked by the mages the whole time. And I'm pretty sure even with Silverlight, my max hit is a one. So we'll see if I have any chance. <laughs> I, I'm actually like extremely nervous, but let's uh, let's do this. Okay, uh, this is the really, really tough part. No, no, auto, why is auto retaliate on? Turn that off, you lunatic. Oh my God. All right, here we go, here we go. I'm actually just gonna drink here. I'm a little bit concerned about just getting stacked out. We just need like literally one more hit. We just literally need one more hit. We just quite literally need one more hit. Oh my God, I'm reducing my attack by drinking these wines. I'm literally reducing my attack by, by drinking the wines. Oh, I'm such a dingus. No, and then I freaking, I swear, I thought I wasn't gonna get PJ. This is a disaster. I can't believe I just did any of that. Oh yes, there we go. Uh, oh my God, what was the what was the incantation? Uh, yeah, oh my God, I can't believe, I made that as hard as I could possibly make it. Yeah, there we go. A tier two task completed. Oh, that's so good. Get me out of here. What a oh, dude, that was stressful. Okay, so my plan here is to run this way against that skeleton. Because that way I can try and flinch if I need to. I don't think I'm going to be able to beat this guy in a head on fight. Okay, if we can just get him to step on this tile over here and stop attacking me for two seconds. Stand right here, thank you. Oh man. Now I can happily just flinch this guy. All I have to do is just sit here and flinch him and then we'll be completely fine. Oh, what, were you expecting me to see a clip of me flinching the vampire instead of flinching Gunthor the Brave? Well, aren't you just a little idiot, you little moron? So I ran into an issue at the vampire and that's that he regenerates his health extremely quickly like once every four ticks quickly i need to shift my focus to getting strength unlocked i will not be able to beat this guy without at least 10 strength so i'm gonna focus on just getting my stats up finding as many relics as i can and completing whatever tasks i can think of including killing gunther the brave which is a tier one task that i am struggling with mightily there's Gunther the Brave dead and 10 points. That did not take 35 minutes. I don't know where you got that number from. Okay, the plan from here on out is simple. Kill these cows until I get 30 attack. Hopefully cook the meat to 32 cooking if it works out that way. And if the RNG gods bless us, we will get some relics along the way. It's super unlikely, but I have to believe in something.
have it. 30 attack, 315 points for reaching my first level 30 skill. And that means we can now unlock strength. And I don't really need to think about this one too much. It's the only logical option. Ah, oh, it feels good. All right, here we go. I grabbed 10 strength real quick and now it's time to face this guy head on. Dude, the strength levels are making such a- I just hit a four. The strength levels are huge, man. I mean, look at this. This is crazy. He's kind of kicking my ass though. One more hit and then we got him. Yes, what? I don't, I don't have a hammer. Oh my God. Okay, and this time for real, we've completed Vampire Slayer. Oh, thank God, man. We get two attack levels, which is <laughs> really underwhelming. Usually you get a lot more because you do this way earlier on. Oh, man. Hey, thank you so much for sticking around until the end. If you made it this far, make sure to comment uh, poopy in the comments so I know that you are loyal <laughs> this plugin should hopefully be out kind of soon i still need to finish some stuff and then put it in for approval but i'll keep you guys updated on when it's out and while you're waiting why not go check out one of my other videos like when i played prop hunt with jeopardy and nine rain and king condor and zay cookies it's a lot of fun go, go watch it okay goodbye